How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your father and I can do whatever I want with you. Hi, my dear friends. I've missed you all. My name is Jane, but my dad's gender expectations almost ruined my life. Let's tell you what happened. I was born just like any other girl. There was nothing that set me apart. My father had high hopes for a son and was disappointed when my mother gave birth to three daughters. He even left the hospital and went to meet his mistress when he heard the news. My father was not a loyal man and had no shame. He believed that men had many rights, including having romantic relationships outside of marriage. According to him, masculinity was very important and had certain standards. My mother suffered a lot because of him and we all knew about it. We watched as she was humiliated and degraded. Since destiny didn't grant him a son, my father decided to turn me into one to break this cycle of femininity surrounding him and to teach one of his family members the principles of manhood. He started taking me everywhere and taught me how to play football and box. He forced my mother to cut my hair short and dress me in boys' clothes. Soon enough, people started thinking I was a boy and called me by the name my father had chosen for me. Ben, instead of my real name, Jane. As I grew up, I forgot who I was and got used to this new identity. When I became a teenager and started looking for someone to love, I didn't know whether I should choose a boy or a girl. Faced with this dilemma, I decided to forget about it and hope that things would become clearer with time. But something strange happened. Girls started being attracted to me because of my masculine appearance and behavior. From the outside, no one could tell that I was actually a girl. This admiration confused me, and I didn't feel anything towards them. On the other hand, boys avoided me so that no one would think they were like me. My classmates at school constantly made fun of me, especially when the teacher called me to the board and said, Jane, solve this math problem for us. Someone would shout, It's Ben, sir. Ben, don't you see that walk and broad shoulders? I had to fight them on the field just to be left alone. Meanwhile, my parents' relationship had deteriorated a lot, and my father started regularly beating my mother, maybe because he was tired of her and her reproaches about his infidelities. I tried to talk to him and convince him to leave her in peace, but he would answer, Women need to be beaten. Their gender is cunning and ridiculous. We, my son, belong to a noble and advanced category. I didn't like his behavior, but at the same time, I saw him as a symbol. I aspired to become. That happened one night when I came home late and my older sister asked me where I had been. I raised my hand to slap her, saying, Who are you to ask me, woman? But before the slap landed on her face, I realized that I had become just like my father. I stepped back, apologized sincerely, and went to my room to hide, thinking about what my father had done to me and how he had changed my identity and gender to make me his successor. I noticed that I had started repeating the same behaviors I had despised in him. In that moment, I realized the horror of it all and went to my sister's closet where I chose a dress and women's shoes. I applied lipstick and stood in front of the mirror. At first, I couldn't accept my appearance and almost took off those clothes to go back to wearing pants, but I told myself that I wouldn't back down and let him win over me. It was time to correct the mistake I and others had been victims of. My father came home from work in the evening, and as usual, he called me to eat with him because in his mind, men eat before women. I entered the dining room still wearing the dress. He saw me and almost choked with surprise. What is this, Ben? Are you going to a costume party? My name is Jane, and this is how I will dress from now on. You must be joking. And I will ask you to address me using feminine pronouns, because I'm not a boy. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your father, and I can do whatever I want with you. True, you are my father, but you are not a good father. He attacked me, trying to hit me, but I grabbed his arm and said, I won't allow you to touch me or any of us. I have been taught boxing, and I won't hesitate to use it against you. I am not a man, but a woman with the strength and determination of a man. And that's a dangerous combination of a man, and that's a dangerous combination you shouldn't test. Stop abusing someone weaker than you. That's not true.
Real masculinity is protecting your family from any harm or external danger and providing them with safety. We have been living with constant fear, fulfilling your demands not because we love and respect you, but because we fear you. You tried to change what God created by making me male instead of a female just to satisfy your ego. He looked at me in astonishment, placing his hand on his heart. Do you want to kill me? Everyone dies in their time. If your time has come, no one will mourn you. I advise you to change your ways if you don't want to spend your last days alone. And my father understood the message, especially after losing his last ally. As for me, I struggled to reclaim my identity as a woman. I had to learn everything anew. The strangest part was that after a few years, I coincidentally met a former schoolmate who confessed that he had been in love with me at that time, but didn't dare to express his feelings out of fear of me and the reaction of the other students. We continued to meet for weeks. And one day, while we were sitting by the river, he looked at me and said, Jane, I love you. Do you accept to marry me? As soon as I heard those words, I felt like the happiest person in the world. In truth, I had also liked him during that time and had fallen in love with him. Today, he is the father of our three children, and we have a wonderful life together that I missed in my father's house. That's the end of my story, friends. What do you think of what my father did to me? I hope that parents don't treat their children like my father did because each of us has a role to play in this life. Don't go too far because there are more stories to come. To receive the next story, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Take care.